The Australian Open is expected to bring more than half a million people to Melbourne, but there are concerns the city might not cope. Tram drivers will stop work for four hours on two days during the tennis finals because of an ongoing dispute with Yarra trams. An action during the Australian Open is obviously designed at hurting the people and causing uh, uh, pain. The union wants a 5% pay rise but says its biggest concern is job security. Yarra Trams has plans to make 15% of its workforce part-time to make the roster more flexible. The part-time ratio being increased for us will slash our members' uh, conditions at work and also take-home salary. Plans for alternative transport will be released next week, but Yarra Tram says it will most likely provide buses. This is an international event and in the middle of it we've got an embarrassing two-day strike action and what's the response from the Minister? Silence. It's the fourth strike by tram drivers in five months. The state government has said it's tried to stay out of the dispute, saying it's a matter for Yarra trams. But the union says it's reached a stalemate and wants the government to intervene. On June 30, I called up the minister and said, oh, I'm not sure we're getting anywhere with this multinational, greedy, arrogant company. I think we need assistance. But I think the community would have every right to feel uh, pretty unhappy about behaviour that uh, he is essentially um, uh, putting at risk uh, a, a substantial tourism event for the state. Yarra Tram says it's offered to meet with union officials every day of next week to try to reach an agreement. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.